on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Zero power run! Wait, what? As Izuku, he's seeing everyone just headed to the opposite direction of any robots. Confused, worried, he turns his head just to see the giant Zero Pointer heading straight towards him. But this then he sees a building start to crumble beneath his weight. And this is when he sees Oraka. He's more like, wait, why isn't anyone helping her? Just looking at everyone run away, especially Tanya Ida, and <laughs> pretty much leading her out, leading her to the wolves, pretty much. This strikes a chord with Izuku. He, he gets a feeling of rage, anger, some somewhat disappointment in how cowardly everyone is being. When he actually does grab onto someone and asks why is it anyone helping, like it's just a test. She, no one's gonna let her get hurt. What? Besides, we gotta worry about getting more points. This causes Izuku to actually punch the motherfucker, seeing him flying through a building. Which, yeah, the guy deserved it. But this is when he just turns his head back to Oraka. Seeing that she's reaching out. Asking anyone to help. Come save her. He says, I have no choice, do I? As one for all just starts charging up in his body. Going from his legs, feet, arms, all throughout. Him feeling the strain, but... As it slowly starts to subside, he knows his, his build is getting more mass. And uh, as long as that's continuing, he might as well can try something. So as he starts running straight towards the zero pointer, he sets his ground with it. And he punches it, sending it flying with a mixture of gears, wires... Hell, motor oil. <laughs> Everyone shocked at this. Considering that, wait, why did you do that? It wasn't worth any points. Him looking with beautiful blue eyes and white hair. Everyone seeing. That. Are you the same person before? Because he remembered the emerald green and the uh, eyes and hair. So, seeing this dude is kind of like, who in the hell are you? to them. Oraka, upon seeing this, she is shocked. Because she, people have noticed before Izuku, he wasn't really doing anything. But as soon as he just lifts up the rubble and literally carries her princess style to recover girls robots, it's pretty much like, whoa. Him just having a slight smile, asking if she's okay. Her just nodding her head, yes. And then, President Mike, alright, that's the end. The issue is them. You know, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. And upon seeing his results, he knows he didn't get any villain points. But upon seeing that hero points were a thing? This is, uh, like, wait, that was part of the test, but they didn't say anything. As then he does get the whole explanation from all my, like, yeah, being a hero means more than just being up villains and, you know, glory and whatnot. It's also about saving people. So... Welcome to your Hero Academia. Upon hearing that not only did you pass your 1A, Izuku's 
mood changes. He sheds one tear, but keeps the rest buried just to have a prideful look on his face. Upon sh telling Inko, she's still a little bit like, Are you sure those aren't contacts? Are you sure you didn't dye your hair before you left? And, Mom, I, I told you, I, I don't know how this quirk works. Apparently, a new, you know, a new uh, hair color and eye color are part of the deal. Yeah, but are you sure you're not involved in something shady that, that uh, makes it so you have to do this? Uh, tr tr trust me, Mom. I, no, I'm not doing anything of the sort. I, I can promise you that wholeheartedly. <sighs> okay, fine. So you passed. That's that's great. <sighs> What's wrong? I gotta be honest. I I knew how much you wanted to be a hero growing up. But to tell you the truth, I'm scared. What? Sometimes I think that you not having one was a good thing. What? Pardon me saw how you idolized All Might. A hero who can save anyone with a smile. But I watch those two and I see the things he has to go up against. You idolize someone who, if it wasn't for a strong quirk, would have, should have died. At least gotten seriously injured in his fights. Uh, and my quirk being a, you know, a weak attraction quirk, and your father's being a fire breathing, I. I know you have trained as much as you could, but and make them as strong as you possibly think. But to really be honest, I would have rather you be quirkless. Wait. So don't tell me. Every time I did apologize for you being quirkless, seeing how you looked so broken, I blamed myself because that's one of the things I hoped for. I didn't want you to have a quirk and end up getting hurt just because you feel like that's what a hero should do. Uh, what? I'm so, no, no, no. <clears throat> it's fine. I, why are you telling me this now? I'm already in U, UA. Would, would I have stopped you? I guess not. And what if you didn't have this quirk, what if it didn't awaken, then what? You would have been the one that needs saving, possibly. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. So, I am sorry for my prayers possibly causing you so much anguish, but still, I don't regret them. Mom, I'm not mad at you. I... <laughs> if anything, I... If anything, I... Uh... I am happy you care so much about me. But now that I'm already... I'm... I've made it through this, I know I could become a great hero. Okay, 
So, at the very least, uh, let's, let's see how this goes. Will you stand by me? Like always? Of course. Just promise me you be careful. Even a little. <laughs> of course I'll be careful, Mom. If anything, I don't want you to worry anymore. Especially with as strong as I am now. Hmm. I still wish you could have kept your hairstyle. The eyes are alright, but... Nah, people are going to start thinking I, you're not my real son. Psst. Seriously, I am your real son. No matter what, I don't even care if I was adopted. I'm still your son. You took your t the time. You had the patience with me. You raised me. You know, just because someone isn't blood related does not mean they're not family. <sighs> because believe me, think of it like this. When I'm born, at least when people are born, we have to put our faith in complete and total strangers. That be our parents and anyone who's around us. We have to get to know them. You know? So, if anything, yeah, you are the best mom ever in my eyes. And, and uh, you're the best son ever. Them hugging and it's an all wonderful moment, you know. Look at me being wholesome. <laughs> uh, Y'all know I'm gonna fuck some shit up in the future, don't you? <laughs> On the first day of UA, he's, a, he's excited. He's calm. He's collect. He knows he can do this. Hell, even his control of one for all has gotten better, and the fact that the pulse of energy going throughout his whole body actually got him thinking, he's like, huh, I was going to use that all wrong before. Huh. Family, that could have broken me terribly. Of course, I can heavily use it on one part of my body, but spraying it throughout, it's a lot easier than just changing body parts every so often. Hmm. Upon seeing the door, he just burst through the door. <laughs> Everyone looking at him, him just trying to be calm, also kind of freaking out that he's still in this class. Upon seeing Bakugo, he gets a feeling of mm, anger, but also somewhat of pity. As he just walks straight to his desk, which Ida shows up, does the whole thing like you're a great. How do you know about the hair points? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This does get Izuku angry, very much angry, considering he's like you were one of the people running away. Yes. Now. I've seen those types of engines before. You're in Jingyum's brother, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Tenya Ida? Yes. So, let me get this straight. You were going to allow a participant to get crushed under the weight of a zero point robot. But I, uh, it was just an exam, and I, I had faith that the heroes would have stepped in. No, no, no. That is not an excuse to just. You know what? You 
bring shame to your brother's name. Your family's name. What's your hero name going to be? Uh, um, possibly in jam. Don't use that name. Until you earn it. Uh, what? Uh, but I am Tinga. I earned. No, you didn't. Just because you're part of that family does not mean you earn the name. Heroes have to live up to the names that they've chosen. Not only are you planning on using your brother's name that has been known for having been a great hero. It's the fact that you think you're worthy of it despite that pitiful display I I really didn't mean to as this is all rockish hey it's it's okay like no it's not what if I wasn't there what if all my or a hero wouldn't have been able to stop the robot in time you could have been seriously injured or worse hey I forgive him I, I I forgive him for that. Well, I don't. Not yet. He's going to earn my forgiveness. You better start living up to that family name of yours. Okay, everyone, here, you got, um, uh, yeah, whatever, just put on these, your uniforms. Who are you? You don't know who this is? This is Razorhead. Show Aizawa. You know him? You know me? He's like, yeah. I mean, yeah, you're one of the lower, at least, underground heroes, but still, you do good work, especially with a quirk as powerful as yours. Bakugo was just like, Psh, how strong is quirk be? <sighs> Mr. Aizawa, could you please give him a demonstration? Uh, wait, what? Show him how useful your quirk is. Uh, I, I, uh, I bet it's a weak ass one. Really? Alright. Attack me. What? What your quirk? Attack me with everything you got. Come on. <laughs> Fine. But if I win, you gave me my hair license right then and there. Uh huh. And how about if you lose, you're expelled? There's no fucking way I'm gonna lose. Which I though. No. He, he dug his own grave. Let him lie in it. <laughs> as soon as Bakugo comes in, hands blazing, as uses his quirk and Bakugo falls flat on his ass, getting captured by the Cusker Scarf, and I win. You pack your shit and leave. No, 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 no. I, I went through so much crap to get to this damn school. Well, you shouldn't have tried to be a cocky bastard. Wait. Um, how about this? Give him one more chance. 
he may be an arrogant ass, but I believe he could be a great hero. And your little showing certainly did uh, open his eyes, right, Kotsky? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Fine. But don't expect any more chances if you fuck up again. You're out of the school.